So another really great program for automation is Automator. Uh, Automator is actually built into macOS. Uh, you can open it. I'm just going to go to Spotlight and type Automator, and it'll open up. And so what I'm going to show you how to do, uh, this is maybe not as useful as other things that I've shown you, but let's say that you have a web page which, oh, with a whole bunch of images that you would like to download. Um, so I have on Wikipedia the current United States Senators page, and so you can see there are a bunch there, and uh, lots of people, in fact, a hundred U.S. Senators. And what I would like to do is be able to download all images that are on this web page. I could just do a two-finger click and do save image to downloads or save image as, but if you think about any task where you're doing the same thing again and again and again and again, there is usually some way that you can automate it. And so we're going to teach Automator um, to do this. So we're going to go to Automator and we're going to create a new workflow. And a workflow is an automation. It's just a series of blocks that will be run uh, anytime you run the workflow. So let's do this. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I need to get the URL of the web page that I want to download things from. And so the idea is number one, get the web page. Uh, second, find every image that's on that page. And then third, download every image um, that you find in that list. So first thing, get the URLs. So I'm going to start typing. I know which commands I'm looking for, but very often if you just start typing keywords like uh, URL, you can actually find what you're, what you're looking for. So get specified URLs. I'm going to drag that in. The default is Apple. I'm going to pull that out. And the page that I want to search through is this web page of US senators. So we'll go. I will just paste that in. In fact, I hit add and it just took the URL directly from uh, the clipboard. Okay, so now I have this list of uh, this, this URL and I have that web page. And now what I would like to do is get the image URLs. So I'll type image. There's a lot of options in there. Type in URL. Ah, here we go. So get image URLs from the web page. Now, one thing you should notice here is that there's a link between the first block and the second one. Uh, and so this is getting the web page, this block right here, and it is then sending it to this block, which says you've given me a web page as an input. And now, as an output, get all of the image, image URLs for that particular web page. So we have that here. And the third thing that we want to add in here is we want to download um, all of download all of the URLs from the previous step. All of those URLs from the previous step are images, and so we're just going to download all of those. And I'm going to set this to be a different directory. I'm going to go to the class Advanced Automation 2021-2022, and I'm going to choose that as our directory. So I do that, and I hit Run, and let's see what happens. All right, so it says the workflow is completed. Let's go to Finder. Here's that folder I just have. And sure enough, uh, we now have a folder of pictures of US senators. And there are a couple extra little ones. You can see here's, a, here's a one with Wikipedia on it. We have these other ones. But otherwise, these are all of those images from that URL. What am I going to do with this? I don't know. But you probably have a better idea of how we might play with this. And that's, that's my goal. So I'm showing you how to do something. You hopefully have an idea of how to take this and use it for something useful. All right. So uh, that is a simple way to use Automator to download files from a web page.